a 23-year-old is dead and a family and community are shaken. Majok Majok has been deemed Regina's second homicide victim of the year. Majok lived with his girlfriend, Naomi Shingoose. She says he was shot in front of her at their home while trying to break up a fight. She remembers the last thing she said to him very clearly. I told him that I loved him and to stay strong, to stay with us, and I prayed for him. But God had different plans, I guess. Regina police responded to their home on Wascana Street after a call about a severely injured man. First responders tried to resuscitate him, but couldn't. He was pronounced dead in the early morning hours of Friday. His best friend, Emmanuel Janawi, says it's a tough loss for anyone who knew him. He was a big brother figure to many, giving advice and feeding anyone who needed a meal. If you don't have nowhere to go or don't have no food or anything, he would make sure you're good. Even if it was his last dollar, he would make sure he gives it to you. A 17-year-old has been charged with second-degree murder in connection to Majok's death. The teen cannot be named because of the Youth Criminal Justice Act. The teen made his first appearance in court this morning. Majok's parents and siblings were there, crying and holding each other. The family fled war in Egypt in 2003. Majok's dad says he is now terrified of the city they've called home since then. Alex Saladuka, CBC News. Regina.